For this week's project, I'm going to try and make the Simpsons donut. So the inspiration for this week's video has come from Heath Knuckles. Now you guys have probably seen that big Taurus he made. That thing was bloody unreal. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link to the video in the description. So my plan for this build is to take this piece of burl. Now this one's still got the bark on top, so I have no idea what it's going to look like once I pick it all off. But before I take the bark off, the first thing I'm going to do is cut my circle. That way I've only got to pick off what I need. I definitely don't have Jimmy's skills on the bandsaw, but that's alright. I'm going to go to the disc sander now and finish it up. You know, I've just been thinking, and I reckon this donut is going to be way out of proportion. By the time I add some resin on top here, it's going to be about 4 inches thick. So my options are to take some off the bottom now, or just leave it, and then when it's on the lathe I can just part it off, which I think that's what I might do, because then it'll give me a bit of room for error. Now it's time to get this bark off, which is kind of like opening your presents at Christmas, because you're excited to see what's inside. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. One way I've seen is people take it outside and hose it with a pressure washer, and it kind of blows the bark off. But the method that works best for me is I just grab myself a pick and I just start picking at it and if I'm really lucky I get big pieces come off at once. And then once I've got the bark off I grab a wire brush and I just brush over it and that takes off all the loose stuff. Here's a nice big piece ready to come off. You ready to see what we got? Check that out, that's not too bad. That's a nice little bit of landscape. Well there it is, who would have thought we'd have this under all that crap? This thing looks beautiful. How cool does the underside of the bark look? What do you reckon I could make out of that? So it's now time to put our white pearl over the top. Now I've got this Pearly X pigment powder and also some white pearl ink. I'm going to mix that with some epoxy resin and just pour it all over the top. So I don't make a big mess, I'm just going to put it into the container that I'm going to cast in. Now I'm just going to pour the white over the top, and then once that's set, we can come through with our top layer. So I think my plan here will just be to pour it on and if I need to I've got myself a paintbrush that I can touch up any places that I miss. That's not really what I expected. I thought it was going to be a lot whiter. That's really purple. I think I like it. Well, I've got to say, I'm really surprised by that. I didn't expect it to be so purple, but I really like it. So now I'm just going to leave this to cure, and once it has, we can come in and pour our top layer. It's been about eight hours now since I poured this. Looks like it's all nice and cured. So now I'm going to start prepping the resin for the top layer. So in The Simpsons, Homer's Donut has pink icing, and a while ago I got sent some of these inks, and I believe there's pink in here. Now I'm just going to add one drop, because I don't want this to be too overpowering. Do 
If anyone's interested in owning this week's project, it'll be available to buy in my eBay store. Wow, that looks amazing. The purple looks even better with the pink resin on top. So now I'm just going to pop it into the pressure pot. We'll leave it in here overnight and we'll check on it tomorrow. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a failure or a success? Look at that beauty. That's exactly what we wanted. Now because I've used a dishwasher safe container, this should pop straight out of the mould. So my next step is to mount it to the lathe. I think I'll just glue a waste block on the back. But you can see here, there's not much resin on top of the burl. So I don't want the burl exposed when I turn the donut. So I think that line there is going to be my middle line. And the donut is probably going to be about this thick. I've got to be honest with you, I've been staring at this all day. And I've been putting off putting it on the lathe. I just don't want to stuff this one up. So I don't really know how I'm going to go about doing this. All I know is I have my center line and I'm going to round either side of that. And then I'm thinking of grabbing a force in a bit and drilling a hole in the middle and then just try and round into the middle. definitely more daunting than it looks. My first plan was to get the force in a bit but as you saw I just got in there with the gouge. It sort of worked okay so I'll keep going with that for now. If I have to I will switch to the force in a bit and just put a hole all the way through it. But it is turning out quite nice. It's definitely a lot plumpier than I thought it was going to be. I think it'll be okay.
half the job finished. Now we've just got to reverse mount it and finish off the back. I think I'll just mount this the same way Heath did. Just drop a bit of hot glue behind it. That was pretty easy. I just gotta hope that the front side matches the back side. I think it will, they do look very similar. So my next step is to start sanding. Ideally I'd love to sand the front side first, but because it's securely mounted to this waste block, I'm just gonna start with the back and then we'll flip it over and do the front. If you guys want to learn more about sanding and polishing resin, I've got a whole video about it on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So that's the back side all finished. Now we've just got to flip it over and do the front. Here's a tip for you. If you've used hot glue to glue on a project, grab yourself a hairdryer and heat it up. That way it'll come off easier. You know, when I first had the thought to make the Simpsons donut, originally I was going to put sprinkles on top here and even take a bite mark out of the side, but after sanding this up and seeing how good it looks, I just don't think I can do that now. What did you think of the Simpsons donut? This thing turned out amazing. You know, I wasn't too sure if it actually looked like a donut, but in the last couple of days, everyone that's seen it straight away have said to me, wow, you've made a donut. And with the top being curved, it just magnifies everything and it just looks unreal. I'd even go out on a limb and say that this is the best project I've ever made. And you know what? As much as I don't want to sell it, I feel like one of you guys should probably own it more than me. So for that reason, I'm going to put this up for auction on my eBay store. So if any of you guys would like to own it, I'm going to put a link in the top of the description of where you can find it. And don't forget, go check out Heath's version of this. He made a massive one, and it looks even better than this one. Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, it'd really mean a lot to me if you could like and share this video amongst your friends. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'll put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Check out this chunk of burl. What do you reckon you'd make with this?